Weather FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to Concord Rangers at home. It's a good Friday. Adam, how are you feeling going into this one? It's a big game, going into a busy period with the following Monday game as well. How do you feel for it? No, yeah, just good to you know get back at home. Um, obviously, after the last game, have a game, big crowd, um, good performance, good good um, result as well, which I think was important and. Yeah, you just want the, the game to come thick and fast now. Um, it's not many to go. Um, only only three home games left. So, yeah, we want to really sort of showcase ourselves and, and build on um, last oh, two weeks ago's performance now. Yeah, how, how would you want to approach this game? How would you plan on uh, going into this one? The last time we played in that one all draw, bit of a frustrating evening for you how would you like to play a bit different no yeah it was really sort of frustrating at their place um they've obviously changed their manager in that sense i think um so you know a bit of a a different different test but yeah it was a really good performance at their place um we did everything but but score goals um i think we could have been leading three nil um at half time and so only get a draw was was really um one of those draws that we've had this year that have been frustrating. Um, so, yeah, we're not not going to think too much about that. Um, you know, we want to want to be positive and you know we we'll focus on our recent performance and how we can improve on that. And um, yeah, I liked lots of the stuff in the second half against Haven, and that's how we want to start the game. Um, you know, we don't have to go a goal down before we get that motivation. We've got to come out the blocks and, and give our fans, hopefully that'll be here in full force again, um, to get a, get them right behind us early on in the game. You mentioned just uh, two weeks uh, gap since that last game with the Farmer game uh, last Saturday being called off. How has that two week gap been for you? Is it allowed for a bit more training, a bit more time for players to rest and heal up? Yeah, a bit, bit of rest over the weekend. Um, pitch was fully booked um, on the Saturday, so we couldn't really get on. Um, so, yeah, chance to, to, to rest the players. And then we've had two sessions. We'll, we'll train ahead of the Concord game. Um, so, yeah, get two sessions in before that. Good good chance to, to prepare the team properly. Um, so, yeah, it's been a good mixture of you know some hard, intense training. I've done a lot of 11 v 11 stuff on, on Tuesday and opened it up a bit. And, you know, obviously before the game would be a lighter session. So, yeah, good good opportunity to rest and get some work in as well. So, yeah, we, we can't control game being called off. Um, we'd love to have gone to Farmer and played to try and build on our momentum from heaven. But it wasn't to be. Um, and, you know, we can't, can't control that. So... What we can control is, is is our performance levels, and we will get back to you know, performing how we did second half against Haven. Yeah, I mean, how that far, that farmer game being postponed has been rearranged to the 18th now, Tuesday night. How do you feel about that get, getting rearranged? Obviously, nothing to be done about being postponed, but how frustrating is it for you to have a, another game crammed into the? Yeah, and not ideal, but um, it is what it is. Like I say, we can't control that now. Concord, have got a very tough they play Tuesday just gone um, they play Friday Monday and Thursday as well I think and then Saturday then Tuesday um, so that is a, a tough run so there's there's teams in worse positions than ours we're not gonna sit and complain about anything get on with it um, what it does do is uh, give us a fully packed uh, schedule between now and the end of the season um, I think it looks um, Friday, Monday, and then Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. So, you know, plenty of football. Lots of players are going to be needed. We've got the squad ready to, to cope with it. So, yeah, we just full look forward to, to the end of the season now. And how is the squad looking? Is everyone available for this Friday? Yeah, all good. Ollie trains with nursing his toes. He got a whack early on. Um, so he trained, which is a good sign. Um, we've got to see how he's recovered um, after training didn't look like he was moving at 100%, so he's one that we've got to assess. Obviously, still no Lewis White. I think um, he's had a grade two hamstring tear, so that's probably going to be in for the season, um, unfortunately, which is a, a big a big miss. Um, you know, but you know, we have got have got players back. We've got Dan Barry back from uh, international duty. Um, so yeah, other than than, than those two and. Um, Tutty is still missing at the moment, but yeah, other than those, you know, hopefully a fully um, fit squad to choose from. Nice one. Um, and just to touch on something else off the pitch, uh, this week we found sad news of Morty Hollis passing away. 
club president. Um, just wondered if you have a few memories or a few words about Morty. No, yeah, just um, yeah, a bit of a shock. Um, um, Mr. Worthing, Morty's met him first when I first come to the club. Um, must have been back in like 2017 or something now, which seems years ago, maybe even before that. Um, it was on a um, Christmas Eve, um, and yeah, met him in Marks and Sparks in, in Worthing. Had a nice cup of tea, and he offered me the Worthing job, and you know, I was absolutely delighted. And just, just from that meeting, you could see he's, he still had a lot of passion for the football club and really wanted you know, to, to, to do his best for the club. Um, you know, after back then he would serve up the the bolognese to all the players after a game, and you know would be out there on the pitch doing doing everything, and um, just lived and breathed this football club. Really, he was here, you know, majority of his life, I think, and um, you know, he's seen so many changes, and it was a really nice moment to go and give him the the trophy last year. Um, you know, the club had never been promoted into this league before so for him to be there and witness it and for me to be the manager to pass over the trophy to him was a, a real special moment and one that I, I'll always cherish.